Hey guys, you know what it is, Young Crasher here, and I'm going to teach you how to use a vector properly and how to balance your audio when you're making a beat. So, first of all, when you start this up, you want to go to free limiter and you want to put this down to the arrow. You see this line right here? This will decrease the sound because you don't want the sound to be too loud, right? So, you leave it like that, right? Now, for the effector, we're just gonna make a a quick beat. It's not gonna take long. Let's we'll just make a quick beat here. Um, okay, we gotta make a quick beat. So, alright. So let's just make a quick beat. Hey guys, so now I'm going to show you how to use a vector properly and how to make it work. So first you want to insert the effector in here, just like that. Now, make sure this is on and make sure bypass is off. So you want to uncheck that and then you want to move this around here and select the one that you want. I'm going to do filter and now that we did this, th make sure to move this around to how you want it. Check this out. Just like that. So now that we did that, we're going to right click bypass. You're going to select create automation clip. It's going to show a green thing right here. For Y, you, y param, you're going to create automation clip. And for X param, create automation clip. Now, the one that's going to give you the effects is this green one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to work that right now. Okay, so uh, the green one, you always want to have this down. And then, well, it depends how you want to set it up. But put this like this. Just lower all the way down. Move it down. And, uh, put it up so I can move this down. And then move the end up just like that. Yeah, just like that. So this is going to be down. Then this is going to be down like that. And the end will be short. It will be about here. And this will be about, I would say, here, like that. Okay, so we got that. And now this long one will give you the effect. Now, for some reason, the long one has to be a little long. Now, it doesn't have to be this long, but it could be like right here. Just make sure the sound is dropping where you want it to drop. And then these will drop so like this. Okay, so there you go, like that. And it's gonna drop right now. There we go. See how we did that? Okay, so drop this one down all flat. Leave the green one flat with the curve up. And then for the Y axis, I call it axis, but the Y axis needs to be like this a little bit. And then the X axis needs to be like this. This one needs to be a little up because this is the drop. So the X axis is the drop okay remember that x is drop depending on how you set it up but y is in the middle okay because if you div it up it's gonna you know sound weird but i guess we have this set in the right area so yeah play it again
so yeah that's how you do it guys if you guys have any questions comment like subscribe if this was helpful i appreciate it if you guys subscribe and like and uh if you guys got any more questions comment and yeah peace out